So I'm going to be going over the top five altcoins that will make you rich going into 2022. Now I'm going to be going over these coins here on Coinbase. Got my account pulled up, which is still down from 200K like a month or so ago. It is what it is. Now I've also got to point out, none of this is financial advice, guys. It's just my opinion, but all the coins I'm going to be going over, I personally own. And I'm going to start things off with a really good one, the basic attention token. I've also got to point out the time to get in on these coins is getting smaller and smaller by the day. So if you do end up liking any of these, I would get in on them ASAP. Now, the basic attention token, aka the BAT token, is an advertising coin. It's been around since 2017. I actually owned this one about a year and a half ago when it was at like 17 cents and I sold it like an idiot, but I bought back into it around 70 cents. Now, the market cap on, on it is 1.4, 1.5 billion. Honestly, I think it could do a 10 to even a 20x in price. I would say the minimum on this thing, you know, a 10x from where it's at. If you could buy it under a dollar and you're willing to hold on to it for a while, the risk to reward is there. However, I don't even think this coin is risky at all. Now it's connected with the Brave browser, which is a browser competing with like Google Chrome, Safari, Mozilla. It's been growing its user base for years consecutively. And it actually runs on Chromium, which is interesting. Uh, anyways, I actually recommend checking out the browser, trying it out if you like it. You'll see that it's connected with the bad token. They pay users and advertisers. It's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, uh, bottom line though, anything under a buck on it, get into it ASAP. Okay, the next coin here is going to be Polkadot, aka Dot. Now you might look at this coin and think it's got a 50 billion market cap. Why would I buy into it? Well, I'll tell you why. It's a really good hedge against Ethereum. It's basically the same thing as Ethereum or close to it. It's a software uh, and you know, it's been growing its ecosystem and it's not going to slow down. I think that we could see Polkadot get up to like a 500 million market cap at some point. I'm sorry, 500 billion market cap at some point. And, you know, really realistically, as long as you're averaging into this coin, you know, I think it's a good one to get into and just hold on to for the long term. Uh, and yeah, I mean, who knows, maybe you could do that 10 X in the next 12 months. It's very possible. Uh, it's also got a really big community behind the project, and that's another thing about these coins. They all have big communities, and they've got staying power. You don't have to worry about them going to zero or dropping 50% and getting stuck there. You know, I mean, that's what I think at least, and that's why you know I've got these. The other thing about Polkadot, it's a top 10 crypto. You can see I've got it pulled up here on CoinMarketCap. And uh, yeah, bottom line, it's not going anywhere, and I think averaging into it makes a lot of sense. And before we get more into this, I want to recommend everyone check out the Binance US app. Now, this is my go-to cryptocurrency trading app that I highly recommend checking out, especially if you're not in crypto right now. Now, cryptocurrency is a great way to make money using your phone. So if you guys want to learn more about Binance US or get started, we'll have some bonus sign-up and resource links in both the description and comments. Next up, we've got Decentraland. Now, this coin I've been talking about for at least the last you know six months to a year on the channel. All these metaverse cryptos have been popping off like crazy, and this one probably went up the most in a very short amount of time. Now, the good news is I was talking about it the other day, and it went up to like $4.50 almost, and it came crashing down. I said when it dropped to around $2.50, it would be a really good buy, and it is. Now, uh, basically what this coin does, it's got... Uh, a virtual marketplace where they sell virtual land, um, so virtual real estate. They've got virtual goods. Atari is one of the big investors in this coin. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's crazy. So I mean, the marketplace is live for it. I recommend checking it out. Uh, it's very cool stuff. And, um, you know, I bought a pretty big bag of this right around 70 cents. So I'm sitting pretty good on it. If you wanted to get into it now, you know, the market cap on it's hovering between four and five billion. Honestly, um, $2.50 and under is a good purchase in my opinion. So right around the price it's at right now. However, I think if it shoots up really high again, you know, I would I would wait. So two fifty and under on Decentraland, you know, we could see a 10x in price on that for sure. Now, another good coin to get into in the metaverse is the engine coin, which I talk a lot about on the channel. Now I own a lot of this coin. When I say a lot, I think I'm over I bought okay, I want to say I've got around 13,000 coins at the moment. Um, anyways, it's still a really good buy. Anything under $3 on this is really good. I've thrown out price predictions in the next 6 to 12 months of anywhere from 10 to $15, I think, is uh, realistic. On the low end, maybe 8 on like the very lowest end. But 
you know, the way things are going, I think 10 to 15 is a realistic price point. Once again, not financial advice. Uh, the all-time high in this coin was four bucks at one point in 2021, but I know we're going to blast way past that sooner or later. Now, they have an NFT marketplace, which is awesome. They've been doing a lot of cool things. They released a couple new apps on the App and Play Store, which are you know amazing. I'm just going to pull up the marketplace so you guys can see some of the stuff that's for sale. Right now, they've got around 17,000 different items. I've been looking at some different things to buy on here, honestly. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, this is it, you know? I'm just going to browse through. Now, I've checked out the Hodler's Armor is cool on here. You see, they've got a bunch of like swords and axes and just some random things. They've got like a legacy blade. I'm actually going to click on that. It's somewhere around here. Yeah, right there. It's pretty freaking cool. The blockchain. Legacy badge. Okay, uh, let's get into the final coin and then I'll just recap at the end here. But, you know, XRP, guys, uh, what can I say? It's a top 10 crypto. It's been that way for years. I've got over 200K coins of this. And honestly, it's still a good buy. You know, we're looking at uh, a possible 10x in price on this very soon. And, you know, even if you're buying in around a dollar, I'd say anything under a dollar 25. I mean, yeah, why not just get into it now? I, I just don't think XRP is going anywhere. That's why I own so much of it. It still has yet to break its all time highs from like 2017, 2018 of around four bucks. But once it gets past that, man, it's just going to just go crazy, right? And uh, I mean, XRP has got a lot of staying power. Now, just to recap here, um, I like all these coins. Like I said, I own them. And that's the other thing. You know, if you buy into them and the price goes down on them for a little bit, you don't really have to worry because they have staying power. They're going to be around, you know, two, five years down the road. I, I really believe that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought all of them. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully, we can all get rich in 2022. That is the goal, right? Uh, thanks for watching this. Subscribe to the channel for more crypto content, and we'll see you in the next video.